<laughs> Good morning from Athens, Greece. So we are still in Greece and we've been able to see a little bit more of the country. And a little bit. Not enough. Not enough. Greece, you're awesome. But this week we got to stay at two different places. So the first half of the video will show you the first place and the second half the very cool second place. So we flew in Athens picked up a rental car from Avis and drove over to the Messenia Peninsula, which I had never heard of, but it kind of looks like Southern California. So we came to Costa Navarino and this was a real treat. And I knew they would love it. There was so, so much to do for our family, and we did a lot. A lot. A lot. Do we look tired? One of the first activities we did was rock climbing, which we're both afraid of heights. Yeah. Like, it's one of those things you're like, this is a lot of fun, but I hate it. <laughs> People think I'm good at rock climbing, and it's just because I'm so scared to fall that I'm going to go up and down real fast. <laughs> Jess and I, we like to compete. Competitive, well, competitive sports. One of the first ones was bowling. And, okay. <laughs> it was I'm competitive. I'm the worst bowler on the planet. And... We've been around the planet, so we know. And the worst bowler. <laughs> and she is the worst. And we had bumpers up with the kids. <laughs> we had bumpers up! But that's besides the point, because our nope, kids... that's the only point. No, no, no. Our kids were the cutest thing Kay. watching them bowl. We're gonna show you some video, and there's just two things you should notice. The first is Manila, how he scoots the ball up so slow. <laughs> and the second is Dorothy. Her hip that, dance after she bowls. She'll bowl, and as soon as it hits the pins, just a little... Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Just a little wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle wiggle. wiggle. Now roll it as hard as you can. Super hard. Good. Yeah. 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 Manila's loving this Steady already. Push it as hard as you can. Dorothy. Hard as you can. That might take time. Get there! This is not in slow motion. Get there! This is the real speed. Dorothy, are you gonna get it? Yeah. Yeah. You got him! Yeah. Hey, Manila's turn? Manila's turn! Alright, okay, Manila, push it. Yeah. Go, Manila! Go, 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 go. He's so stoked. Come on, push it. Whoa! I'm gonna get a strike here. Alright. Good luck getting a strike on your second one. <laughs>
Manila. This is a good example. The slides are a good example of why Costa Navarino is so great because it's not like they just have everything. They have basketball, they have tennis, like they have everything, but they do it right. When they have a basketball court, they have a legit basketball court. When they have water slides, legit big, fast water slides. I'll go first, okay? Okay, he'll tell you when to go. Manila down one of the windy <laughs> slides that was not slow, and uh, he loved it too. Champs. Here we go. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Was that fun? Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Manila, high five. Was it fun? Yeah. You want to do it again? No. <laughs> no. Put it in a better spot for you, okay? Okay, it's in a better spot for you. Go get it. You gotta use your arms, remember? Okay. Wait, look down and see where it is, and then go get it. <laughs> no, 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 watch. Thank <laughs> you. 
So finally then there was one day. Every day we were there, Dorothy would play four hours and then she would complain when we made her stop. So on the last day I was like, Jess, let me see if I can reach her limit. I'm just gonna play, play, play no matter what. and see if she finally crashes or asks to stop. It was about six hours. Finally, like she gets out of the pool because she was like cold. And she's like, let me just warm up for a second, puts a towel around her, and then 30 seconds later, she's just out. <laughs> and then like later that night, she was so disappointed in herself. We're like, Dorothy, you fell asleep. And she's like, I'll try again tomorrow. <laughs> There's something for everyone there. Like, even like Garrett said, basketball, soccer. <laughs> So I think a lot of people when they think of resorts think there's just like this big massive business that comes in and kind of takes over the land. But that's why Costa Navarino is so unique. If you know the backstory, that there's this really incredible gentleman who had a lot of success in life and then decided to give back to his community. And so he built this resort which is, I mean, it's a resort but it feels less like a resort and more just like this cool community that he built with beautiful restaurants, a lot of job opportunities for the locals, mm. and then everything they did, they did it in a way to preserve the nature, and they had an exhibit inside the resort. Yeah, they have this like, nature exhibit where you can go through and mm -hmm. learn about the animals and the land. They've done a really, really great job. So I think this was my favorite night. One night we drove a little ways away to this really cute Greek house with these awesome Greek women who taught us how to cook Greek food. Today we're making cookies. Perfect. Woohoo! Okay, this is called cookie.
Oh, and then just to add to the fun night, there was this crazy lightning storm, like crazy cool lightning storm. And Manila was being so fun. It's loud. Oh, can we get another bite? Here you go. So our kids love to hear not only the pools and the fun things to do, but there was also a kids club. And that's a big draw for us, you know, giving our kids that interaction with other kids and activities and crafts that they don't always get. And it was a big treat. So on our last day, we picked them up from the kids club. We picked up Dorothy and our baby tiger, cutie Manila. Huh? And then we drove to Athens. So Costa Novarino is about three hours away from Athens, which means road trip. But the drive's not that bad because it honestly felt like a 20 minute drive. Okay. As I'm sure you may have seen now in some of our videos, I am the designated driver. We get in the car and everybody just passes out. So what's my favorite thing to do when we drive? Listen to your books. I love listening to audiobooks. What nonsense! Harry could not have crossed the lane. He's just come out of a goblet of fire. Our bound. So I have the Audible app, and I have listened to many audiobooks. Uh, this time. I was listening to Harry Potter Goblet of Fire. Which I'll tell you, when you're sleeping and you wake in and out of Goblet of Fire, you have some weird dreams. I'm listening to all the Harry Potters. I love the Selection series. I've listened to Ellen DeGeneres' book and to Amy Poehler's book. Anyway, I like to listen to just kind of like easy, fun reads. So for you, we get to share a 30-day trial and a free audiobook on audible.com forward slash the bucket list family. Again, audible.com forward slash the bucket list family. If you want to listen to Jessica's favorite book, number one book, it would be? Uh, probably The Selection. You're welcome, girls. And if you want to listen to the only book that I've ever read, it would be Holes. <laughs> Such a good one. <laughs> it was good in third grade and I'm pretty sure it's still good now. We arrived to Athens after a long drive and we arrive at the Grand Breton. This place is nice. This place is really, really nice. I mean, there's so much history behind it. Everything in the whole hotel is like antiques and just has so much history. Don't close your tongue, okay? Don't close it. Don't close it. Yeah, close it. Tongue out. Oh, eat it. Is it yummy? Ready? Stick your tongue out more. Okay, eat it. <laughs> the best part about this place is the view from uh, the rooftop. Yeah. Amazing. So when we go to a new city, we usually try to find some sort of like service or way to get involved. And this time um, I found a place called The Cube. And The Cube is awesome. Yeah. Initially, I found it because we were looking to do something with refugees, and the Cube um, helps out quite a bit and has started a school for the refugees. And um, we just so happened to be here on a weekend, so things didn't work out, but we were invited to come and check it out. And tell them what the Cube is, babe. 
The Cube is, you could consider it like an incubator or a startup hub where people with small businesses or entrepreneurial projects can go and receive help, collaborate, network, meet with people, and it's just a good place for small businesses to thrive. In a past life, I used to be involved in business, entrepreneurship, startups, and so I really enjoy the opportunity to mentor or help others, but really just like collaborate, chat with other people and their cool projects. So I met a lot of cool people. So this family that runs it, they have two boys, the nicest, coolest boys. And so they were uh, playing with Dorothy, playing with Manila. Mm -hmm. And then one of them, I find out, he has a vlog of his own. So his name's Panos. And I was like, dude, you speak really well in English. Like, how'd you learn English? He learned it watching YouTube. He would watch Casey Neistat vlogs. The kid's cool. Casey Neistat, if I can ever get a message to you, it would be, you gotta check out this kid. If you're ever in Greece, I'm gonna send all the information to you, Casey, I hope you check him out. So, what's your name? Panos. And how do you spell that? P-A-N-O-S. Cool. And how do you speak English so well? Because uh, of Casey Neistat. <laughs> so you watch Casey Neistat vlogs. Yeah. And that's how you know English so well. Dope. And where were you born? What city? Athens. And you have a YouTube channel of your own? Yeah. Yeah? What's it called? PJTV. Yeah? Okay. PJTV, the link is going to be right here and people are going to check it out and they're going to see your videos. How many videos have you done so far? Uh, three, four. <laughs> this kid's awesome. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you want to go on your bucket list? Uh, New York. All right. <laughs> You're awesome. You the whole time. Manila, you want more water? Can you have some more water? And on Sunday mornings, in a few minutes, there's the changing of the guards, which happens right outside the hotel. Right outside our balcony. Yeah, check it out. So yeah. Manila's awake, I'm gonna go get him. Garrett's gonna show you the changing of the guards. See you next week. Bye-bye.